<gasps> Bam! Got a little fluorescent green in there. Look at that. That is green on green. She's moving in. She's moving in. She's moving in. She's about to eat it. She ate it. <laughs> Dude, this is freaking insane. Oh, oh, God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Quit getting so close to me. <laughs> that old dude running that dude. Do that same thing. It's cool. <laughs> We good? We yeah. going? <laughs> Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. We were standing in front of a little Guggen Green Wall, which is gonna kind of come into play twofold today. So today is actually St. Patrick's Day. Now I know coronavirus season has been going on for like a year strong, so. Some of these holidays have not been really celebrated adequately, but as you guys know on this channel, we love to do a good holiday fishing challenge. So, since today is St. Patrick's Day, green is the obvious color. I am wearing exactly zero green because I forgot, and I had a nice little green Guggen shirt picked out that I forgot to grab walking out the door today, and our good friend Badge oh. did not help me remember, but it's okay, he's wearing green. This is kinda, I don't know if this is green. Show him your arm here. That's so green. You guys let me know. I don't what know. That, would that be? I don't know if that's enough green, though. I don't know if it's enough. Okay. So you might need a pinch. But no. anyways, we're going to change into my good Guggen Green shirt on the way to the pond. But, but first, oh! <laughs> you went for the nip, dude. Yeah, baby. Dang, nurple. Flurple nurple. So if you guys are new to the channel or you don't know how these, these holiday fishing challenges work, let me explain it to you. So we pick a color or multiple colors if it applies to the holiday, and we theme the entire day's worth of fishing gear around that one color. So. It's pretty simple on St. Patrick's Day. You've got green and that's it. Now, black may come into play or white or something like an accent color, but the main color is green. So, within that rule of green, we're gonna have to buy a fishing rod, a fishing reel, fishing line, and lures. Like everything that you're actually gonna need to catch fish. So, we're gonna have to dive through all of these aisles at Academy and find the right pieces of green. So that's why I wanted to start in front of the Guggen Green section because that provides us with that nice little green backdrop since I'm not wearing a green shirt. Before we start today's fishing challenge, remember guys, we are on the road to 1 million subscribers, so make sure you hit the subscribe button right below the video, click it and make it turn gray. It's a red button, enable the bell notification, that way you guys do not miss an upload or a fishing challenge or a giveaway or anything like that. It's free to do, you can always unsubscribe later. All right, Badge, so you've done this a few times with me, but the first item we need is a fishing rod. I always like to start with the rod and then kind of build on from there. So here's the rod section, let's just kind of give it a walk. Look at this badge. I don't think this is gonna work, but first of all, it's like 18 feet long. Look at the green handle though. It's got like a green styrofoam. Looks like a pool noodle. Feel it. Grab it. Oh, Grab it. Wow. Look how long it is, man. Some high quality stuff going on. It's a little noodly too. What do you think this is? A crappie? A little crappie jig? Get the live scope out and just bloop, bloop. Is that what it's for? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, you're acting like I'm crazy, I'm just saying. I don't know. This is a crazy looking, it's crazy looking rod. It's like 10 feet long. It's literally 10 foot long. Got a little lose guy here. Here's the problem with this though. Oh God. Although we used to work with lose, but here's the thing. This looks like it's a good option because it's green. It's got some gray and black, a lot of green accents, but I'm pretty sure that last year when I did the St. Patrick's Day fishing challenge, I had used a rod like this. So I don't want to get repetitive. I want to do new stuff every year. So let's go ahead and put that back. Ooh, badge. You big ducket guy, right? Ooh. Before you were a Guggen man? What That's about right. this? Look at that. Oh, a green ghost. Is that good? I have no idea. Well, you're a ducket guy though. You own a ducket. I've never had a ducket before. I, I, I had a white one that was a ghost, but that green looks pretty cool. Dude, well, okay, here's a question. Since you're a, you're a ducket connoisseur, and I'm not seeing any more green rods anyways besides the one we just looked at now, but this thing is like, most of it is white. Right. Is that gonna be like a horrible violation of the rules? Or do you think there's enough green right here to kind of carry it? I think there's enough. I think there's enough too. This is a seven foot medium heavy. It actually feels really good. All right, so now we've got a little green base here. This is our step number one. And now we obviously need a reel to put on it. So let's see what they've got in the reel case. Once again, not a lot of green options here. I mean, we've got some spinning reels that are green, but we don't really need a spinning reel. We need a casting reel. Now there's two options down here. The Cast King, which is like a pea soup green. And then we got a 13 fishing Inception something sport. 
And that looks like a direct match, wouldn't you say, Badge? And it's clean. That's a freaking beautiful match, even with the black accents. I think this thing is gonna look actually really good. This We might be making a really good looking combo right here on accident. That green reel down there on the, the second row. We're gonna need a couple more too, but you definitely need that one. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. That's the one right there, Badge, don't you think? Oh yeah. Look, look at this. Oh, bam. oh my. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the one right there. As far as line goes, there's a, luckily today, nowadays, there's plenty of green lines. There's like mossy green braid. There's like low vis fluoro that's like moss green. But we found this, this freaking catfish line. Look at that badge. Can you see there? That's some lime green, or that's like Guggen green almost. It's like fluorescent. Right, so I'm just guessing that's gonna look really good. Now we may have to cheat a little bit and tie a little fluoro leader so we can actually catch fish, but. Now lures are gonna be, not really tough, but a little bit tougher because like soft plastic wise, it's really hard to find like a fluorescent green lure. But if you guys thought I was gonna come to Academy and not buy some Guggen baits, I mean, you must not know me very well. But check out this specific color of Slim Shake Worm. It's called Summer Crawl. It may fool you on the front, but you turn it around, <gasps> bam Got a little fluorescent green in there. Got a little chartreuse almost. I think that qualifies, don't you think? Oh yeah, That for fits sure. right in there, plus the packaging, if nothing else. I mean, we got plenty of green. With lures, I forgot to mention, we picked normally three lures, a soft plastic lure, a hard bait, and then like maybe a wire bait, like a spinner bait, chatter bait, that kind of thing. So soft plastic lure, lure number one, chosen. I'm seeing a lot of hard baits in this aisle that would fit the category of like being the right shade of green. But here's the thing, in this challenge, you wanna also pick things that are green, but will catch fish. You don't wanna pick three lures that are so dedicated to the challenge that it's impossible to catch fish. So I'm thinking to go along with a nice slow moving Texas rig or wacky rig bait, we could do a little crankbait action, right? A little bandit. Look at that green, it's got a nice green back. It's actually like a three tone, different colors of green and chartreuse and even a little yellow in there. Bandit lures, never heard of them, but uh, square bill, two to five foot diver. And this is a good time of year. I mean, you get a line of beds and just yank a square bill through there. <laughs> yank a stank. <laughs> just yank a stank right on <laughs> out of there. I think that uh, might do the trick. So we have one more lure to choose. All right, I'm looking for a wire bait here. Wire baits is a little bit trickier because I mean, you got chatter baits, spinner baits, not a whole lot of options there. But I am seeing a good friends from Old War Eagle with a pretty nice little green skirted spinnerbait. You think that, that works? I think it's perfect. Man, we got some, oh God. No, baby. We got some pretty good green stuff going on here. I'd say this is like, this is a really green situation here, both with packaging and with colors of lures. So between that, the rod that we now have and the reel that we're about to go get, we now have the ingredients for today's video. So here's where things get interesting. The easy part is over. Now we go to the pond. We're gonna do some bank fishing, me and Badge, we may team up, we may split up. I'm not sure how we're gonna do it. The goal now is to catch fish on this stuff. Maybe not necessarily one on each lure, but that would be ideal, but just catch fish in general. If you find out that one lure works better than the rest of them, we're gonna stick to that lure and see if we can actually catch a big off of a bed or something like that. But now that we have the stuff, see you guys at the pond. Look at that. That is green on green on green. If we're going for a green St. Patrick's Day theme, I don't think you could have hit that theme any harder than we just hit it. I'm also a little excited. I've never used a ducket rod, never used a 13 fishing rail. So this is a, this is gonna be a day for first as well. I know it's not a Guggen rod and that, uh, you know, that's always kind of weird for me because that's what I've been using exclusively since they came out. But we'll make an exception just so. And honestly, a Guggen green rod would have worked. <laughs> I just thought about that because it's green, you know? So we wouldn't have technically been cheating, but we're going to start with, man. We got some wind. We could start with one of the moving baits. Part of me just wants to throw the Slim Shake worm and just freaking do it. Get wormy. Yeah, I might have to get wormy with a squirmy. Mm. Got fish that might be on bed. You thinking about weighted man or weightless? What? What are we thinking here? It's kind of. It, it was windy. Now it's calm. It's like changing on us. I kind of like weighted. 
I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I know that's a, that's a, this time of year, it's not a bad idea. You know the pond, though. Well, I know it okay. We'll go weighted for now. The good thing is we can always switch this up to weight, uh, weight less, and we could also throw that spinnerbait and crankbait at any point in time if we feel like it. All right, let's take a closer look at this summer crawl right here. It's one of my favorite colors of Dugan baits ever because it incorporates the green pumpkin, which just always works. But then it's got that little chartreuse on the back side of it. Now, this is a pretty good sized worm. This is like that bigger version of the Slim Shake worm. But hey, we're looking for a, a big bite. By the way, we could not find any green hooks. So that didn't happen. All right, let's uh, put this right here. Let's throw lures in the old back pocket one thing we got to do first thing we got to do is make a test cast because we got to see how this all this performs together then we need to walk this pond a little bit because sure. this time of year there could be big bass just literally sitting in a pocket or something i don't want to spook them i want to find them all right first things first we do need to make some test casts but i always like to set a new reel up a certain way just to kind of make it easy first of all let's get our drag cinched because we got some pretty heavy line on here tension Oh gosh, that's falling really fast. Tension, I wanna make that to where the bait just barely falls. Just kinda, plus we got some wind in our face. One more click, that should be good. Brakes, um, inside, bitch. Oh, look at that. Wise man once told me, set it about halfway first, you know, and just kinda see. All right, we ready for our first cast? Let's get her. St. Patty's Day, baby. St. Patty's okay okay we didn't bird's nest that was pretty smooth i just kind of whipped it too i really didn't even like get on it okay that's good i could probably even back off the brakes a little bit got our duck friends in the mix just quacking it up having a good old time oh god i thought i had a fish for a second it's going to be interesting to see how the fish respond to this fluorescent line although i do have a leader a lot of this line is in the water, so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. I think I'm going to back off my tension just a, a notch and maybe take my brakes down one, and that'll be about as far as I go, especially with blowing wind blowing right in my face. Let's kind of whip this thing, Badge. Oh, God, watch the plants. Okay. Oh, hell, I think this is, I think this ain't bad at all. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really not bad. It feels fair. At least fair. I mean, it's for a new reel, you know, you got to kind of break it in, sure. get, a, get a feel for it. But yeah, overall, I'd say it's doing pretty, pretty decent. Now we just need to kind of like keep making casts, keep making bomb casts, and then see how things like setting the hook, fighting fish, that type of thing, see how the rod does. That. that would be the next part of this equation. And for that, we're probably going to have to do a little bit of walking. What do you think, Badge? Where are these fish at? Where are they going to be? Where are they going to be hanging out? Where are they going to be spawning? This little creek thing looks cool right here. A little bridge, a little underflow. I wonder if that water keeps going down there. Yeah, this would be a sensible place for him to spot. Is that a fish right there? I don't know, I can't see. Oh, it looks like a bed. I literally just thought I saw a fish. Wow, swimming. That may have hit right next to it. it looks like there's a bed right there, yeah. maybe. But there's also some, some orange looking ground right there. Oh, oh god, oh jeez! Oh my god! Holy smokes! Oh god, I'm on, I'm on the cord! He's flopping. Oh my god, and he got, got it in the bottom of the jaw. Wow! Holy crap! That must have been a bed. Do you think this is a male? It, think this is a little male? Very possibly. Dude, nice first fish. One of the most aggressive bites I've had in a long freaking time. He got a little dirty on the way in. Oh my gosh, there's two more bass right down there, and they're big. I gotta get this guy back. They're much bigger. I'm gonna put him over here. Although he can swim right back over there if he wants to. Oh, it's, a little, it's a little muddy. Did you see those two bass? Yeah, they are. They're way bigger. Shh, you gotta be calm. Oh, they're still there, they're still there. There's two of them, so one of those could be a female. Or they could just be a bunch of bass that are just stacked up back here. Oh, can you still see them? I don't see them anymore. They're in that area. You saw them though, right? I'm not crazy. This dirty water is going to help us, man. I think it will. I don't know if they'll be able to see us so well. I see one. There's a little bass right there. There's just a bunch. I wonder if this is like a little spawning area right here. Yeah. Like multiple beds right here. Okay, first hook set. 
so far so good and the leader not held which is i kind of tied it weird so i was a little worried but the leader not held heck i put the hammer on him with this dang green ice oh the crazy thing is i never even saw him i thought i saw a bass swimming out but then when i flipped in maybe that was the same one maybe he like turned around or who knows I'm, I'm really confused but that was freaking exciting crazy exciting he hit it so hard and he was just gone good call on the way to texas rig old badge and they say you don't have it anymore <laughs> the hell do they know who says that well i mean just people i mean i don't i don't say that but <laughs> some people say you've lost it i don't think so it wouldn't hurt to cast out that brush though That was a good sized fish, man. That was bigger than that last one we just caught. Oof. Oh, oh, I just got crushed. Oh my gosh. That was freaking crazy, man. That was insane. Dude, these fish are freaking fired up, man. Well, about the same size, a little bit bigger. That's not the one I'm seeing, I swear to God. I'm seeing some bigger ones here. Oh my gosh. Look at my guy's got a, oh, that's not a black tail. I thought he had a black tail, but it was a leaf. <laughs> I'm so excited. These fish aren't big, but they're super aggressive. Dude, I freaking saw this fish roll on it. You know how you see them hit it and you just see a flash of their side oh, yeah. all of a sudden? Oh, yeah. Man, these guys are fired up. I don't want to get, yes, he went that way. I don't want to get too close because I feel like we're seeing more and more bigger fish that are out kind of cruising. But if these are the males, that's what males do. You good, Batch? Yeah, I thought I stepped on your reel. <laughs> Challenge video over. The little ones, which are the males, they're a little bit more aggressive and they're, they tend to eat first. So I'm just thinking these are males that we're just kind of plucking off of spawning areas. So we really need to get this lure in front of the face of the females, which are gonna be a couple pounds, three pounds bigger. Maybe even more than that, who knows? We've pulled a a big bass or two out of here haven't we for sure although those records are classified now but uh it still happened oh yeah. i see it's about three days probably two i want to get back out there so i got a, i got in one of these little brush piles and i popped out of it real hard and, that was it. and i saw that i saw this this side flash oh god he swam right over to it oh my <laughs> this is crazy this is freaking crazy they're getting a little bit bigger too a little bit bigger dad just like hey man there's like a little three pounder over here i was like oh, i'm not even gonna mess with him i flipped about they're like carbon copies but they're getting slightly bigger i've i made a flip like five feet away from him and he turned there's another one down there dude okay Let's get him back in. There's another one right there. I don't know what's going on. This is freaking crazy. We got a full-fledged feeding, feeding frenzy on our hands, folks. I don't know any other way to describe it. I mean, we're making very similar casts in the same areas at different fish who just happen to be stacked up. You know what's even crazier? When we pulled up, we saw a guy in a golf cart with a fishing rod, and he was coming from this area. Yeah. It's like, how, man, he must have just left at the wrong time or... Or maybe he couldn't catch him. I don't know. Yeah, there's a you talking about that fish right there. It's a better, it's a better looking one. I can't see it right now. Yeah, there's another one in there. Oh, let's see, we got too close. He's moving out, but I'm gonna flip this out in front of him. He's looking at it, no but he's not he's not moving now. She's frozen. Oh, she's moving in, she's moving in, she's moving in, she's about to eat it. She's looking right at it. She ate it. <laughs> Bro, this might be a female. This is the first female right here. Look at her. She's mad too. Got her right to the cheek. Dude, this is freaking insane. Oh my god. They're getting a little healthier badge. Getting a little chunkers. Let's go, baby. That might be a female right there. So we're gonna put her right back where we caught her because if she's about to spawn, I don't want to mess that process up, although we just caught her. But us fishermen, most of the time we have a soft spot for the fish that are spawning. Like we don't want to take them away from their 
their bed. We don't want to completely mess up their spawn, although catching them, you know, maybe stress them out a little bit. Also, one Slim Shake Worm did all that damage. I think we lost on that one. Dude, what a freaking onslaught. <laughs> Is that four fish? Yeah. In about six casts? Real quick. I'm not seeing any more activity because we probably caught every fish that was hanging. That could have been two males, two females. Although that was the only, the only one that looked like a female though. True. It's a little thicker, a little broader shoulder. Do we, I mean, do we throw another lure? Do we keep fishing the slim shake? I don't even know what to do. Let's, let's keep it going for the challenge sake. Yeah, I think so. Because at this rate, if we, if we found the magic sauce, right? Like the right size weight, the right kind of lure, like slim shake worm, we could get this thing in front of a big fish's face. And there's no doubt in my mind, my confidence is like soaring right now. I think these fish are so fired up. If we can get this lure in the right spot, in front of the right fish, we could catch a big one. All right, let's switch her on up. And I think me and Badge both agree that the spinner bait's probably, probably a good option here. Not gonna do a trailer or anything because we didn't buy a trailer with it. And that's kind of how these challenges go. We, we really want to use the lure as it was intended to be used with nothing, nothing to help it perform better. So for the challenge sake, let's just see if we can get one on this. I have a feeling this one's going to get less bites, but it may just get a bigger bite. Well, one thing we do know, these fish are relating really well to this structure. I mean, we've got all this stru structure in the water. We've really only fished like right here. We haven't touched any of this. We haven't touched any of that down there. So I'm just gonna start like kind of blind casting. Oh, that was good. It's our first merge nest. Just gonna start blind casting and just working this spinner bait through some of this dirty water. This thing looks really good, by the way. This thing freaking, look at that flash, man. You can see the flash from up here. That thing puts off some dang flash. It's already there, it's cause it's already, oh God, there's, there's a fish right there. Yeah. Let's yeah. see. Oh my God, there's two fish. There's two fish right to the left of this brush pile. Oh, we're coming through. We're coming through. Oh, they swam away from it, Badge. Okay, I guess. I, I'm telling you, man, I think we just, I think we discovered what they wanted. And that is a Texas rig slim shake worm. I mean, I love a spinner bait, we all do. But I'm looking at those bass right there and I bet you if I threw the slim shake worm back at them, that they would come eat it, so. We'll, we'll give this thing its due time. We'll give it some time in the water because there could be a Donkosaurus that really wants a spinnerbait. But I'm not gonna pass up fish that I can see. I know what they're gonna eat just for, just to save the spinnerbait some shame, you know? All right, been about 20 minutes with the spinnerbait, no luck. We're gonna throw the old uh, squiggler, the old square belly, just because we need to try to use every lure i think um i'm not sure how this is going to do because there's a lot of brush a lot of just stuff in the water which can be good with the square bill i mean maybe it can bounce off of it some but there's also some grass not really a square bill's friend more like a natural enemy i see i'm already just grassed up like crazy and i was i had the rod tip up and it still came back looking like that so we need to get maybe down this dam or something find some slightly yeah. deeper water or something i don't know what do you think badge deep i just don't know if there's deep water in these ponds they don't look very deep yeah, sure. they kind of just look like a shallow grassy ditch yep i hate it andrew i don't want to throw it anymore it's stupid it's grassy get a worm dude <laughs> i'm just saying man you know i like a good crankbait this is just not the time nor the nor the place. All right, do it. I about to say you're getting you're getting all antsy over here because I'm catching fish and you're watching. You know what I, love, what, what I love about you more than anything is your ability to overcomplicate a situation that's so simple. <laughs> why'd you why did you do that? Why why would you do that? As the words are coming out of my mouth, I you have to leave that in the video. That's the funniest shit of all time. I'd literally like, you just really complicate things. Whoa, bam <laughs> Made a really hard cast for some goddamn reason. I didn't know that your knot was that squibbed. It's not squibbed. You said, you said the knot was squibbed like three times today. 
Well, I didn't mean that it was going to break. I meant like it was, I tied it too many times around and it got thick. Oh. All right, folks. Well, Badger just decided that it was a good time to end the video. He said, <laughs> let me get a cast in. And that's what he did. So I don't even know what's going on with this. And I also don't want to tie another leader knot. Plus, I don't even know if we have any more leader knot material. Like, I just found a long piece of fluorocarbon in the bed of my truck. That's what I use as a leader. It was perfect. But I don't know if I have any more of that. So, and fishing straight braided may work. It may not. These fish seem like they're fired up. So, whatever. But here's what we're going to do. Okay? Smash the thumbs up button if you love these holiday fishing challenges. I know you guys do. Because this actually turned out really freaking cool i mean i've never used any of these things before the rod felt pretty good the reel was okay and the lures obviously i think the spinnerbait would have worked have given enough time the crankbait eh, it's still floating out there look at it badge it's like a neon green thing just floating out there in the middle of the lake the slim shake worm obviously dominated i think that's just a, the bite right now a texas rig shallow like target sight casting fish they're just kind of hanging out but smash the thumbs up button and we will keep doing these holiday fishing challenges be looking out be looking out for this combo because we may just keep on using this reel or this rod or something on my channel or badger's channel or whatever but we caught some fish and that's always a good day to go to the store put together a weird combo with some weird stuff and actually catch fish we were able to do that make sure you guys are subscribing that way we can get to a million subscribers this year i know we can do it you guys are the best subscribers on youtube thank you so much for watching catch your pb this spring i'm i'm all about it tag me if you catch a big bass on instagram or anything like that i want to see them see you guys later thank you for watching